Everybody is back. And this is Crystal. Hi. What's happening? This is Joey Hazard, episode one. This is our initial deployment of podcast. Um, I feel like we're going to have a little baby and it's going to grow and it's going to be something huge and amazing. We hope everybody has one. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> we're calling this the. Um, a soft launch because we told no one about it or anything. <laughs> we're going to do a podcast for like a year. We're going to do a podcast. And now we're doing a podcast. So everybody can see our lovely faces and you can talk about some things. Like yeah. 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 We'll do that. We're talking about we're talking about the show. Yeah, we, we, we have a really discussed what the format's gonna be. I don't know what we're doing on the show. It is called Toy Guys. We can definitely talk about some toys. We're talking about toys. Because you have toys. I do. I do have toys. I have lots of toys. And I have a website where you can buy toys. Oh. What's it called? It's called Rogue Toys. It's not called Joking Hazard. It's not called Joking. But I do have fun um, with these all toys. And um, Matt here likes finding the toys. I have to keep them away from him because yeah. he likes to find them. I got a book on helmets today. Oh, you did? I did. I would like to buy one of those. <laughs> Case in point. <laughs> right. Uh, right now, it looks like I think we're just broadcasting on Facebook. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, how else this works? I guess I can make it public. Yeah, there you go. If you want to share it to your friends and things, if you want to share it to your friends. Oh, if I want to share it to my friends, I don't know. Well, I don't know yet. Maybe we'll maybe see. I should have left this on just friends of mine. <laughs> until until I know, what kind of potty mouth you possess, we shall see. Uh, I'm gonna try to identify the show. Okay. Maybe I'll share. Well, you're having some, something and and something over there. You know Maybe. how about alcohol uh, drinks are like something and something. Oh, like seven and seven or rum and coke or Jack and coke. Or I have like, coke and rum. That's not how you say that. I say it how I want. So uh, Comic Con this weekend. Comic Con is this weekend. Guess who's not there? Us. We're not there. So, if you're a big fan of pop culture and comics and toys and movies and other things, collectibles, mm -hmm. you're probably not watching the show. Because <laughs> you're enjoying Comic Con. Today. Because you watch Comic Con today. Um, I heard there's a lot of really cool exclusives coming out. Have you heard of any? Um, I did. And one of them is the Funko Pop Anastasia. I really like that movie. I don't know what that is. Anastasia, you know, and and oh, the Russian Rasputin, and he sold the soul to the devil, and then the uh, Tsar the family, like, became a big blues singer. They got all know. shot because there was a revolution and stuff. You say you, you want never a saw revolution? That movie. Whoa! Uh, that song was about Rasputin. I didn't know. I never knew that. Maybe it was. Maybe I don't know the rest of the words. That's that's all I know. That's all I know. Sorry. So you're saying Rasputin is at Comic Con? No. Go check them out if you're in San Diego. I'm saying. And this, they get some anesthesia and, <laughs> and be be out of it. I got gotcha. you. Yes. Okay. Exactly. All right. So there's an anesthesia thing. Is that a Disney thing? Anesthesia is not Disney. It's not Disney. No. There's an anesthesia doll that's not a Disney thing. I need an anesthesia doll. You have a little Disney doll back there. I need anesthesia. People can't see, but there's like two, two more shelves. We've ever seen. Oh, my God. Okay. okay. There's a lot. Um, yeah. yeah. So this is the Star Wars. This is the Transformers and the Batman for me. So there's Transformers. Oh, there's a bat. There's a, there's a bat. I don't know. I need to work on my background in here, I think. But so, so I don't. Do people comment on this? How does this work? Can people comment on the. So uh, I can chat. Let's see. Is there a chat thing? Hello. Do people chat on Facebook? Do you leave the comments? I don't know how this works. I've never used um, this kind of thing. 
can't post comments to Facebook. Why not? Oh, live yeah. viewer comment show up here. Click on a comment, show it on the screen. Oh, I can show comments on the screen, but there aren't any. So if you're watching, say hi. Let us know how this sounds. Also, just testing out a bunch of stuff here. So let us know if it sounds bad, if it sounds good. Um, we're going to tell you if it sounds bad, bad. Something to drink. It sounds good. Sounds good. It'll be great. It'll be great. Sounds like a bad like idea. It was what? almost. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How'd that go? Not great. They told you to keep drinking until they look better. Is it a blind date? Have you ever been on a blind date? I've never been on a blind date. No, I don't know any blind people. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you a story. I tried not to laugh at that. And then I just, I when I lived in face. Denver, I remember, um, there were, I think that my work was near like a, a blind facility whatever it is okay and so you see what people, is a blind person facility? Like some sort of care facility because they were all the ground okay so blind people around. but one time i saw a blind person crossing the street and a blind person was helping that blind person cross the street oh, that sounds like disaster it the is it the blind leading the blind, blind. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious did you I'm did sure. you call it out like i didn't like, yell like, 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 hey like, but I did not make that same joke like 10 years ago to my coworker. It's not the same thing. I like to refer to Matt as Captain Obvious sometimes because he likes to state the obvious. And it's pretty funny. I mean, not everybody sees the obvious sometimes. Sometimes you do have to. All right. So, what other exclusions are the Yeah, I'm tracking. All right. What else did you see? I haven't seen anything. All right, well, let's pull uh, it up and see what else I, was kinda, I saw some friends go in, some friends were going, in, and I saw like some of my friends' cosplays, whatever that they're trying to be planning on doing. I've been seeing a lot of cosplays. I saw um, a really good Batman cosplay. That was really cool. I saw a Conan. Conan, Conan was good. Oh, yeah. Like, he definitely ripped, ripped all year. All year for that. Most <laughs> a year. Uh, I know a guy who used to do like and, and Wolverine, and, and, but he had like foam muscles. No, these were real muscles. Clearly. Okay. All right. I looked. I'm I checked with my people. I said it was legit. Be legit to quit. Okay. What other Comic Con experiences? How's it going? Too legit. Too legit to quit. I'm sorry. I'm going to like cut it out. I don't know. The Full house. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Dave Collier will be our guest next week on the show, so be sure to tune in for that. We are also planning on lying about a lot of things, <laughs> including that. Um, well, uh, yeah, I don't, I know some people you know this is the first year they're doing this since the, since the world died. Yeah, this is the first show since 2019. Um, they had mini cons, yeah, it was just like a but yeah, yeah, I heard they were. Um, I, I know they were because nobody said anything about them. I never heard a word about them. They had some online cons too. Yeah. Where you can tune in online. But yeah. I don't know if I'm not with. Probably not. I didn't even do it. I had press passes for those. Like, what am I doing with this? You had press passes for to watch the show online. Yes, I don't know. Maybe they were a lot. That's weird. I don't know. You know, I did get. I did get a lot. Of, I had press passes this year. We weren't, we weren't able to make it down there. It's just crazy. Mm -hmm. um, but I've been getting all of the emails. Let me let me let me tell you. I got an email to interview. Um, oh God, where is it? Let me find it. Uh, they were asking if I wanted to interview um, Richard Grieco. Was one of them. Who's Richard Grieco? <laughs> okay, so, so like, he, was the, uh, he was the original. Uh, what you call it? Uh, Twenty One Jump Street guy. Okay, but. Let's, let's, let's make, make something clear before we go forward. I don't know who any of these actors or actresses that you say are, so you're going to have to clarify everything. I've not made it my life's work to just know. What's to going know. On I just what? watch a movie to entertain myself, and I watch zero news of uh, nothing, no entertainment news, celebrity news. Sean Young was another one. Who's Sean Young? She was the girl in Blade Runner. I've never seen Blade Runner. Blade Runner. <laughs> Next, <laughs> um, Casper Van Dien, you know who he is? Is he transparent? 
Just he's a little bit of stinky. He's not a friendly ghost. He was so, in the movie Starship Troopers, like the main guy in Starship Troopers. I think I watched that when I was like three. Christiana Logan from Terminator 3. Nope. She had like the red suit on. The only girl I think that was in that. Mm, what happened to uh, to the main chick? Uh, I don't think she was in that one. Sarah Connor. Was she the new Sarah Connor? No, she was a Terminator. She was like the bad one. I don't think I have three. I know I've seen one and two. I don't think I've seen three. I think by two, I was like, three might be cool. But nah. Well, um, it's going to be a panel with Sean Young, Christian Logan, um, Casper Van Dien, Richard Credo, moderated by Joe Bob Briggs. Who is Joe Bob Briggs? Does anybody, anybody watch this show that knows what I'm talking about? No. Nah, Nobody's on. watching your show. Joe Briggs had um, like a B-Movie kind of thing on. I think it was TNT or TBS or one of those uh, cable channels. A, that know. gives me no... You're like, I don't know what TV is. I don't know what TV is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm busy. I'm busy running shops and what taking do names. What do, what, do yeah, what do I do? Yeah, what do you do? What do I do during the day? Because so nobody's, nobody's in here. In here. Let me share, share it to my page. Share it to your page. We'll, we'll get more views. Well, you know, because all, all, all of the cool people apparently are not uh, watching the show. Share it to my Hey, that's a good idea. I thought you were doing that. Like, well, I was trying to, but I'm not sure. Uh, so what side show got going on? It's comic time. I got to see some. I see some. Harley Quinn statue. What kind of Harley Quinn? Is it movie Harley Quinn? Is it comic Harley Quinn? Is it old school? Oh, oh, that's uh, that's Arkham. Yeah, Arkham. Yeah, that's the Arkham Knight. Yeah, yeah. 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 the video game. There's some Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted. I don't, I don't, I don't, now again, I don't know if these are exclusive. I'm just I'm looking through the my emails here. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a couple of likes on it. I got a lot of heart from your sister. Oh, it's because I just shared it. I just shared it. Uh, here's an exclusive Mad Cave Studios. What is this? What's talent that? search? It's a what? Talent search. What's a talent search? A talent search? You're looking for talent for somebody? Oh, I thought you were talking about something else. I mean, like, uh, like a casting couch situation. It's a lot different than a casting couch. You don't know what's Mad Cave Studios. You never heard of them. I don't know. Maybe Mad Cave. Is your cave mad during that time? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if you're coming in the cave, I'm obviously in there for a reason, so the cave is going to be mad full of anger I mean, what kind and of disdain a cave? What kind that of? you're in the cave if you find said cave. cave. <laughs> because usually when you go to the cave, nope. you've just done had the world. Oh, uh, we're talking about casting couches. Never mind. What are we talking about? Yeah. We're talking know. about casting couches. I thought you were talking about You! Kind of I didn't say anything about it here. Mm, that was you. Jazz wears Spartan Collection Master Chief and the weapon. All right. Is that the weapon? Was that Cortana? Chris is not wearing headphones, Johnny Angel, because she's sitting right over there. I can hear Matt. It's just magic time. Uh, Johnny Angel, what have you been up to? Are you looking at these on Facebook? No, no, I'm looking at my uh, San Diego Comic Con press emails that I ignored mostly. Uh, um, just seeing if there's anything of interest in here. This is what we call show prep. <laughs> uh, I've done that clearly. Uh, again, this is a choking hazard. Yes, they say they hear an echo. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'll uh, hear an echo. I don't know where it's coming from. Hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't hear an echo, so I don't know. Do you want to tune in the, the screen? Real quick? Would you like me to turn it see, up? Real quick? See what it sounds like real quick. Right, you might make a yeah. You oh, might make your phone. Oh, all right. Thank you. Yeah, see yes. how that goes. It might be because we're in the same. Yeah, see what it sounds like real quick. Right, you might make a phone. Yeah. You might make your phone. Oh, all right. Thank you. Yeah, see how that goes. It might be because we're in the same. Uh, yeah. He got some reverb. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Um, it could be. Do you have? Did you mute yourself? 
Did, I mean, did you mute your microphone on your laptop? Um, when you joined the room? Oh, you know what? No, then I said 13 times, mute your microphone. When you the room. <laughs> I think we found out what the problem is. Oh, shoot. Now I'm gone. There's it. What? You're not in the room anymore? Oh, where'd you go? What'd you do? Oh, my goodness. I have to carry the show. So anybody Talk that's interested that wants to get smacked with his hand. Okay, let me back in. It's going to be it's going to be somebody across the room for me is going to get smacked in the head. All right. Let's see if this um, is better. That's domestic violence. Not if it's your own hand. Okay. Fair enough. This hand right here was molded from her hand. See? Compare. Oh, here. Uh, I have a weird thumb. Get, that's because it was in that tube. Get this is far back as I can. Like, put, it put your hand closer. In the tube. <laughs> put your hand closer to the camera. <laughs> There, see, look right there. That's creepy. That's the hand. High five myself. Yay. Oh, wait, this way. This way. <laughs> You're not doing Weirdo. It. Fine, don't play. All, All right. right. So, what I'd like to see now is if it's still echoing. Myself. Yay. Nope. All right. Everything is good. What a surprise. The world has continued its If balance. people would just listen to Matt, then everything would be great. I forgot. I, I don't, you know what? Mm, I'm going to make a big sign. I remember you saying that. I, okay. All right, thanks, Johnny Angel, for the feedback. Um, you're living in Providence. Huh. That's cool. I'm in Vegas. Come visit sometime. Um, yeah, sorry. I didn't know we had an echo. Uh, that's why people need to leave comments. That's right. Let us know about things. We appreciate your So um, what's new and exciting in the store that you run? Well. Named. Rogue Toys. Rogue Toys. We're name dropping business names three I should locations make, in las vegas I should one in salt lake city and one in portland oregon i should make my business sponsor this i thought about that too <laughs> brought to you by brought to you by my own Rogu soul. thank you Toyas. <laughs> um so we had a crazy week this week and i'm gonna elaborate on that a little bit um two weeks ago yes i bought some really cool star wars cards um, they were first edition uh, tops trading cards from 1977. They were beautiful, right? Yes. Sealed packs. I don't want to be on the screen by myself. It's weird. You're telling the story. You tell it. No. Just do it. No. Put it back in a minute. Put yourself back on here so people have something pretty to look at. <laughs> anyway, so uh, so these cards, oh, my head's all cut off. I'm weird. Okay. So these cards. You know, I bought them, put them in the store. I was like super proud of them. Put them on Facebook. I'm like, Look at these cool cards. Someone came in and stole them. What? They were Star Wars cards. Yes. What was special about them? I just told you they were first edition. Okay. And so they were someone, unopened, and there was a whole box of them. Yes. Okay. Someone shoved them down their pants. It wasn't me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. So. <laughs> That being said, um, my employee, who we won't name, um, but he is the uh, parallel universe of Superman, <laughs> went and That's tracked this right. guy down, figured out where he was going, snatched the cards, and shot lasers out of his eyeballs, and nabbed this guy. And we got our cards back, so I'm super happy about that. Come to find out, I just sold all of them yesterday for a lot of money and i'm very happy about this i might have some <laughs> lobster good. dinner tonight oh all right show's over guys <laughs> <laughs> um yeah they were pretty cool uh they did have cool i did pull a couple out. pubes out of them oh mm. Mm. what if the guys listen to them mm. just kidding guy that put them but um yeah. Las Vegas is a terrible place. It is a terrible Don't ever place. Come here. And I'd like to just rant that. Hi, for Billy. A what's up? Like, you know, and, and when it happened, we called the police and everything, and nobody responded. And that was horrible. Yeah. Um, we had to like phone in a favor to a friend. So shame on you. Turns Las out Vegas. there's some cops that like toys too. There's a lot of cops that <laughs> like toys. Actually. Everybody loves toys. Why Billy. wouldn't you love toys? I love toys. Matt loves toys. Yeah. That's how I met Matt. That's, that's true. You yeah. guys probably, I know Billy, you probably either had or bought some Star Wars toys from for 
uh, somebody, I'm sure, uh, probably for Matt, who is not me, different Matt. Different Matt? Different Matt. There's two Matt's? Matt. What? Yeah. yeah. Johnny, you probably had some stuff, too. You're about my age. Um, I, uh, I've been spending my days rummaging through the back room of these toy stores and piecing together Death Star play sets and Imperial Hoth play sets and Ewok villages and things like that. But, um, I mean, who could ask for anything better? That's great. Like, I love doing that. So, I'm doing all right here in Vegas. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know what to say. Um, <laughs> no, that's cool. You get there's a lot of cool stuff that comes through the store. Like people bring in things, um, you know, to sell or to you know at least have you look at. And, um, mm -hmm. You know, I've seen some pretty pretty neat things come cool. through there. We do get some cool things actually. What's today... the coolest thing that ever came through? Not counting Debbie Gibson. <laughs> I can't think of his name Nicholas now. <laughs> <Nicholas> <laughs> Not the coolest person. I said coolest thing. In his leather pants, his red leather Nicholas pants. Nicholas Cage came in. What did he Nicholas Cage buy? And his straw buy? hat. But what did he buy? Ghost Rider. He bought toys <laughs> himself. <laughs> what did Britney Spears buy? Or uh, Debbie Gibson, rather. Mm, I don't remember. Let's look it up. No, she bought Barbies. And no, no, let's look it up. I think she bought. I think you told me she bought Barbie. No, no, I think she bought like a Donnie and Marie doll. Matt Ellis, what's up? Old school fans showing up in the chat room. That's cool. Can you believe I'm still doing this crap? <laughs> from we're, gonna, we're gonna have to have some of your your old people. Matt Ellis was in when I started the DFH liquor liquor cabinet with uh, with Gan, my buddy Jason Gan. Back Please elaborate on what this 2005 is. or six, maybe when I lived in Memphis, Tennessee, mm. and there was none of this kind of technology. We were streaming straight out of our house um, and could handle about seven listeners on audio. And we would go until no one was listening anymore. So sometimes we had eight-hour shows. I wasn't even born when that was You were <laughs> in 2005. Thing. Get out of here. Um, I can't find anything under Debbie. Let's look under Deborah. Deborah, yeah. Deborah. I was podcasting before it was cool. I was doing live radio and live shows before it was cool. And then uh, everybody, uh, yeah, the liquor cabinet. I got an email from Gan recently. No one cares except you, Matt, so I'm talking right straight to you. He was... Uh, Someone say old people. Someone's here. I don't know who it is. Let it's me a take Facebook a look. Facebook user might be your friend. I don't know. Someone old people. Yeah, the DFH days. Um, yeah. Wonder what happened to some of those people. Wonder what happened to Draman Dramanda. We used to call her Dramanda because it's like drama, drama, Dramanda. Her name was Amanda. Amanda Dramanda. Yeah, that's the best you can come up with. Oh, Middleton, what's up? <laughs> I don't know why it's not showing your name. That's weird. Um, yeah, right on, man. Here we are doing. We're gonna. We start a new show. It's called Choking Hazard. It's about toys and things and, and things. pop culture and and. Okay, I found her order. Oh, you did. What year was this? This was 2015. 2015. Deborah Gibson came into the she, store. She bought a Donny Osmond. A Donny Osmond. Barbie? A Marie Osmond. Like like like, like the Barbie dolls, doll things. Like, no, they weren't Barbies. Oh. Barbies are one thing. I mean, like that kind There's of thing, other or were dolls. they like action it's figures? Like, mm, it's like saying Star Wars and Star Trek. It's not the same thing. Mm. Mm. No, but if you say mm. like Barbie dolls, you know that they're like this about this big. Mm. Uh, I'm going to say space people, and I'm always going to talk about all the things that are space. I mean, okay. And it's gonna so annoy. it was a Black Series, Star Wars Black Series. <laughs> <laughs> she bought a Viewmaster with a reel. Oh, what was the reel? I don't know. It oh, just says Viewmaster no, Real. She bought Rainbow Bright and a Hot Wheels Vintage Race Team set. How much did she spend? I'm not going to tell you that. That's classified information. Uh, was it more or less sir. than $100? I'm not going to tell you. It was probably like 50 bucks. This is, this is it was like 50 bucks. client Get out privilege. Uh, and then Nicolas Cage came in and bought uh, Nicolas Cage toys, which I think is pretty funny. Nicolas Cage. Any awesome. other celebs? Um, we've had Drake come through but you don't know who that is because you're not cool and kind of kind of old he was on uh degrassi because we were talking about degrassi he was on degrassi he was the wheelchair kid drake drake well that wasn't the original it wasn't the original this was the reboot this is not even canadian is he this was the reboot in like 2000 nah. he was in a wheelchair he became a pop star he's singing about <laughs> go ahead 
clubs and clubs and not Degrassi and not Degrassi. Was it and Degrassi junior high or high? It was just Degrassi. Mm -hmm. They didn't have a high and a junior high. Mm -hmm. They didn't break off to that. Yeah, they just rebooted it and called it Degrassi. Yeah. We ran into a guy. Can we talk about that guy? We talk about that guy. Some Canadian guy last weekend. Yeah. Had and a Degrassi, he... Degrassi shirt on. And I said, how oh, do you like say it? How do you say it in Ohio? Degrassi? Get out of here. Say that again. You're about Please to be say off that again. Camera. <laughs> Turn your camera on. I'm going to put the dog over One there. One more time. Degrassi. Degrassi. No, he was on. Uh, uh, what? Yeah, see how the Canadians like, say it. Look at my lips. Look at, you think the, the Canadians say it, okay, there? Degrassi. Okay, over there. You're watching Degrassi. Yeah. That's what you said. It's because it's Canadian. No. It is Canadian. Degrassi? It's a Canadian show. Continue. What are you your talking story? about? A boot. It's a boot. It's if not, you're gonna speak Canadian, say it right. It's a boot. It's, a boot. it's, a, boot. it's a boot. It's a boot. It's a boot. It's a boot. No, it's not. What are you talking about? Do you want? Do you want to find out? Do it. Look up like how to speak Canadian. Yes. All right. Let's see. Do that in this house. In this house. In this house. <laughs> now you're now you're just like oh, there's a little Irish. Little, yeah. That now was, you're doing something else. That was all how bad. to speak Canadian? Canadian. Hey Jason, remember that time we went to Canada? Is he still here? I don't know. He might have left. We probably can't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all horrible. No, it was a long time ago. We should never talk about it. Oh right. no, we don't talk about the past. All right, I don't know how Only future work. things. This thing working? This thing's not working. Matt or Billy? Mm -hmm. Billy. What? Billy Fuller bought Matt. All Canadian Star Wars. uses from birth. I think it's the first word I said when I spoke. <laughs> it is the word a. Hey. Hey. Okay, but look up to grassy. That, that was a very dramatic. Degrassi, you have to learn how to say the word a properly. Hey. Okay. That sounds more um, Wisconsin. And it shouldn't be that. I mean, they're right there. They're right next I door. I mean, mm, mm. I think it was more Quebec. It's logical. If there's 24 beer, I get a I get a case of two four, and I'm gonna drink for the weekend. And then you know what's even better is we have a long weekend at the beginning of every summer. Mm -hmm. That is uh, Queen Victoria's birthday. I don't know what she's talking about. Why I don't, don't know they get to the boat? The boat, boat that you go rowing in. Yeah, oh, here you go. That's exactly it. So it's about four o'clock. It's a boat. There you go. That's it's a boat. It. It's a boot. He just it's, said it's like a, it's boat. a boat. Oh my god. That's how we say. It. Okay. There you go. I'm anyway, gonna say that. We say oat and a boat. Here we go. Wait. <laughs> Canadians do not say oot and a boot. No, <laughs> that does not feel good on the ears. Don't no. ever say the that. American say translation the of Canadian that's about is a boot. More back in the throat. Whether you like it or not, you know. And about is more like. A boat, that's not right. a boot. Uh -huh. Not a boot you put on your foot. Yeah, a boat that you go rowing in. That's yeah. right. That's all that a boot. It's a boat. It's a boat. No, if you want to talk about how to speak Pitts, Pittsburgh, Pittsburghese, there's something. No, else. I don't want to. We're gonna get into all this. Sounds horrible. What's up, Ryan? I've known Ryan since like second grade. Hey, Ryan he from the, second grade. He was the first person that showed me what the middle finger was. Ryan <laughs> in second grade. He started this monster. Yeah. I just want to let you know. He's my oldest punk rock friend for sure. Kelly, what's up? Kelly's joined us. I can't see. Is Kelly going. drinking? Looks like she's got a little drinky, drinky, drinky. Uh, she should be drinking. What's the what's the measurement of this hand? Are you asking me? Yeah, this is what we use to measure. This is a six Kelly. inch hand. I can tell because when I put my hand up to things that are six inches, <laughs> <laughs> it is the correct measurement. I don't, I don't think I have any uh, Black Series figures in here. Sorry. Here. You have one? I just so happen to have. You have a measuring thing? Here, I have this. Oh, this. that's even better. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> You're oh. stupid. We How come, where are we going? From from tip to... <laughs> to How do you measure? How do you measure? It? From tip from, to base. From tip to base? From tip to base. <laughs> uh, it's about six and a half. Mm. I'm almost seven down here. Yeah, but like when you do this, because it's got to like lay on things. Boop, boop. How's it go? Like that. What? Boop. Ryan, you're, you're a great friend. Don't say that. What? <laughs> he said I'm a terrible friend. Uh, yeah, a boat is Scottish. Thank you, Chuck. Chuck is also listening. Apparently. Chuck. What are you talking about? Let's see. Um, I forgot what I was looking up. I had forgot what you were looking up to. Okay. What are you, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. All right. So anyway, uh, what were we saying? Oh, Degrassi. Yeah, we got past that. Continue, please. Are there, Degr are there Degrassi uh, 
did you Toys. did you purposely pronunciate that as best as you can without sounding Ohio? Matthew. Kelly on feed right now. This is over. Um uh, are there any figures for that? Were there ever any figures? Were there ever any toys for the grass? No, no, but you know 80s? what? There I can't be. sell hateful eight toys online. Did you know that? Why? Because it because promotes. Hateful? Because it promotes, because it promotes racism. Promotes numbers. <laughs> it promotes racism and and it, racism and it promotes. Wasn't... Uh, it promotes. Uh, what do you call it? Financial gain speech? off of racism. And Is there a sell them online? And I, I don't I even got know what hateful eight Google. toys are there. I didn't even know there were any. Yeah, they have the whole set. Oh, are they cool? Who makes them? I think it's McFarland. Huh. I can't remember. And don't quote you me sell on those? That. Maybe NECA. Mm -hmm. I think I have some somewhere because I obviously tried to put them on Google and they got rejected. Evidently. You don't even know what you have. Also. Also. What kind of junk droids G.I. Joe. Do you have? <laughs> <laughs> the name of G.I. Joe is apparently explosive weapons, and that's not allowed on Google either. I don't know what that means. So, like bazooka. Oh, you can't have bazooka. Bazooka. Can you sell snow one. job? I can't sell snow job. <laughs> oh, I can't no. sell beachhead. What? I can't sell any of those. That's, it's all horrible. That's no good. <laughs> Just Lady J and Snake Eyes. Can't. Can you sell? You chuckles? can't sell Snake Eyes. You can sell chuckles. <laughs> Plenty of chuckles. You can't sell Swift Kick because that promotes violence. Uh, the world today. I love You can't Google. sell co old Cobra Commander anymore, I heard. I just learned this the other day. Hooded Cobra Commander. Yeah, his blue hood apparently is a clan thing. Hooded. That's a weird word. Hooded? Are you saying? What is Hooded. That? <laughs> Hooded. I'm about to say something racist. Stop it. I didn't yeah. say anything racist. I know. All I, right. I was leaning in a different direction, but you took it there. So I didn't do anything. I was just... talking about Hood and Cobra Commander. Yeah, you can't buy that. They can't sell them anymore. I can sell whatever I want. I mean, they didn't make them. They can how you can sell them. I sold jorts one time. Jorts? Jorts. Did you sell Kevin Smith's jorts? That is jorts. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Jarts. Lawn darts? Lawn darts. Oh, is that what they're called? Jarts. Jarts? Like, D, like Django? Like somebody like at. Are they spelled D-J-A-R-T-S? Jarts? Like Django? Like Django. No. Sell they're Django spelled... Django toys? You can't... Mm -hmm. You can't sell Slave know. 1 anymore either. Earth. Can't sell Earth That's anymore. all. All right. Continue, please. <laughs> Degrassi. <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> All right, so now it's uh, we're having a segment called. Is that our called, sound clip? Uh, yeah, I I'm gonna show you some stuff that I'm working on. Okay. And one I want to know if you would buy it. Okay. So I've got a couple of things. All right, we're I'm ready. About How these many people store. do we have? These Six are some people. custom stuff that I've been doing. Okay. And we I'm, need what all. I'm, well, one of these people are me, so <laughs> all five people. All five people need to tell me. Would you buy this? Need to say. Would you buy or this nay? thing? So I'm working on these things. We're gonna they're gonna they'll probably be in the store either way, but whatever. So, so you just turn off your opinion. Oh, no. Okay. So your opinion doesn't really matter is what he's trying well, to Well, I'm just trying to show off some things. I okay. mean if they're not please. like nobody cares, then uh, yeah. We would love to see your things. Yeah. Please show them. Show me my here's my little blue thing. <laughs> so I got this the Smurf Stormtrooper guy. Uh this is just like a prototype here. Um he's about the size of a Smurf. He so he will match your other Smurfs that you've collected from the 80s. Um, he's pretty adorable. He's kind of cool. Look at his little ears. He's got ears. He's got Smurf ears and Smurf hats and Smurf feet. And little Smurf. And he's got all the, like, the paint wear like <laughs> you would have from the Smurfs. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> yeah, well, it got dropped and mm. some things happened. Whatever. So Prototypes. Yeah. Little, They'll little, be worth this prototype. This prototype. If you save it until Matt is dead, uh, dead yeah. it'll be worth at least... Twelve dollars. At least the and thirty-five cents that I spent in materials. So, <laughs> all right, Smurf Trooper. When the dollar's worth twelve dollars. Right. Yeah. And 50 all right. Cents. Ryan says he he likes it. All right, that's cool. Yeah. All right. Okay. I thought it was kind of cool. I like it. I think he should make more of them. Smurf Troopers. Not, it's uh, it's different and it's pretty. Okay. Yeah. Everybody loves Smurfs. That's pretty good. All right. Okay. Well, that's one. 
All right. What's the next one? All I need is one, one vote. <laughs> cool. I'll make more. All right. Um, all right. So the next thing is uh, we've been working on these for a little bit. Um, this will be a three pack. So you'll get the Kenner style of uh, Force Ghosts. So I've got Obi Wan and uh, in the Kenner style robe and and uh, Obi Wan face. You can't tell because it's a ghost. So whatever. He is scary. You get the Anakin Force Ghost. This will be like from the, the end of Return of the Jedi. Right. Now these are not action figures. They don't move because uh, that was a problem. So the arms were falling off. These are non-action figures. These are not action figures. And then, uh, oh, Billy likes to smurf too. And then Force Ghost Yoda with his little robe. Um, yeah, so you got that. And he's a little bit smaller, obviously, than the others. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. So why, why are they Force Ghosts? Please explain. Because they're dead. The dead Jedis. But they show back up whenever they decide. Whenever they feel like. To be like, I told you out. so. Is that correct? Please give us your best Yoda impression. In Canadian. Degrassi will watch this. Degrassi. 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 <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to put together like a three pack of those guys. And they're in the style of your old figures that you had when you were a kid if you were alive then. If not, then you can go get all these probably from some other line of figures that were made. But these were never made, so there's your customs. Your they custom didn't make a Force Ghost Anakin. Uh, I don't know if they ever did. Those those later ones, I don't know. Mm, I the feel like you have like thirteen of them. No, I've got a bunch of Obi Wan's so though. Where he's oh, like, are those Obi Wan's? Oh, like is that Obi Wan? Buddy Jesus stuff. <laughs> he's like. <laughs> Yeah, he's like doing pointing his finger. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> he's uh, oh, I got one more. Would you buy a hand <laughs> molded from crystal? We're not we're uh, not selling crystal's hands. Uh, I have because, the mold. Hit me up later. Don't tell her. Because um no. No. <laughs> you should cut the fingers off so all the fingers like what do you mean? Do finger things. That would be weird. What are you talking about? Oh, so you can like make do fist? like individual fingers. <laughs> I mean, I can just rip it down the middle, I guess. Mm. They're kind of we almost there. make another one with all the fingers. I mean, sure. Kind of weird. You got know. a weird hole in that finger. This finger? Yeah, that finger. Is that what you're trying to get me to do? I'm throw your hand at you. Stop trying to throw things at me. This is, uh, all this of them are cool. Nice Thanks. Yeah, I made all that stuff, Billy. Um, they are hard, not soft. They are uh, hard uh, resin. Um, yeah, they're not real bendy, but uh, yeah, I don't know. they're uh, they. You know, if I figure out a way to do this and make them movable, then I will. But um, for now, those guys are not movable. Um, I have, I had some other guys too. What was the custom ones I did? I don't even have to add them. Which ones? Yeah, uh, those those uh, Boba Fett ones that I did. Whatever. That's for next week. There'll be a, there'll be new stuff next week. This will give me a chance once a week to make some custom stuff and see if people want to buy it. Because you don't already make custom stuff once a week. No, not every week. I have to make stuff for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Matt is my su official supplier of non-official merchandise that yeah, was never made. Don't tell anybody. Shh. Whatever, but there's a makes, huge demand for custom stuff right now. And there is, and that. you know, your stuff is pretty amazing. Like, some of the stuff you come up with, and you're like, look, this is a cool one. I'm like, dude, like saw this? that in my store. Like, he's going to make us some uh, some Beetlejuice. Some Beetlejuice stuff is coming. Uh, the statues, the sculptures that um, Delia Dietz created, the one that grabs her when... I completely forgot They're about that sculpture married. until you sent it to me. Did they make no Beetlejuice stuff. I yeah, feel like it's so cool. Stuff. I'll make some Beetlejuice stuff. Make some Beetlejuice stuff. Everybody Thanks, would love that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, I like doing that stuff. I'm, you know, working on some helmets and some other things. So, 
Uh, what kind of helmets are you working on right now? Uh, well, I'm doing some some stuff for Stormtrooper, Stormtrooper. or Mandalorians. No, nah, I've retired the Mandalorians. Oh. Um, I'm, maybe I'll. I mean, maybe I'll make another mold of that at some point, but it wasn't wasn't right. Um, yeah, no, I just redid a Stormtrooper mold, so some new Stormtrooper stuff, and doing some uh, requested things. Don't know what the word is. I forgot the word that I'm looking for. Custom. Custom, not custom, but yeah, consignment. Be, not consignment. There's another word. Neither one of us are thinking of at the moment. Anyway, some some uh, client work. <laughs> I don't know what the word is. What the word? I can't think of my word. I don't know what don't word know. you're trying. Anyway, to yeah. Answer. So a couple of people uh, wanted some some you know specialized things. So doing some of that, which I don't do much of, but occasionally I'll do it. If it means a fixed air conditioner. <laughs> um, Stupid. Yeah, I need to, you know what? I probably need to do, I need to reprint uh, Greedo and make some Greedo heads. Um, I was going to do that and then I broke it. Oh, it fell. It fell on the floor. Rest in peace, Greedo. And Greedo's head blew up into a million pieces. I tried to glue them back on, but for some reason, resin doesn't fit back together once it explodes. No, not so well. <laughs> so. Ryan said he's painting you know, his horse trailer like Boba Fett's helmet this weekend. That is awesome, dude. You need to send us some pictures of that. Uh, post them or send them. Just message me on uh, Wait, Facebook. Wait, he has a horse trailer? That's awesome. He has a horse trailer. He said it's already shaped like Boba Fett. What so. did you name your horses? Oh, yeah. What's your horse's name? How many horses do you have? He should uh, name one Grogu. Billy, yeah, the show we're going to do Wednesdays uh, at 7 p Pacific. Hello, Billy. And... I don't uh, hear from Matt that much, so if you talk to him, tell him to tune in. I know he's a uh, busy member. Katie, what's up? Yeah, the word is commissioned. Thanks, Katie. That's the word I couldn't think of. You know, I used to write. Oh, I said consignment. I used to write things. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be a writer. <laughs> that word. You yeah. Know, the thing. That one Nothing. thing. Yeah, that's it. Commissioned. Yeah. Well, you know, I probably went and had some drinks before the show. But we're going to do this every Wednesday. Thursday. Uh, Thursday. Thursday. Oh, it's Thursday. You're right. Every Thursday. Wow. Every Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific time. So if you're out, I know Billy and Ryan, it's uh, kind of it's like almost 11 o'clock out there p.m. No horses. Oh, you're hauling sheep. I got it. Eight sheep. Eight sheep. Do they have names? Do your sheep have names? Do you have a herding pig? And tell him away to me, pig. Get away from me, pig. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. I've never seen that movie all the way through. We're going to watch it. I'm not watching that. We're going to get some popcorn. Uh, we're going to watch the movie. We're going to make some bacon. About pigs. We're gonna have ham. I think they're dogs. We're going to have ham Sheep sandwiches. Dogs. Sheep dogs in terrible. particular. That we can have good. bacon. That would be that'd be a fun little twist on, I guess. on the movie. Away from me, pig. Away to me, pig. Oh, there's these things. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. I don't know how it goes. Um, so yeah, those are the, those are some things. Do you know any, um, any of your merch that's coming in? I do know some merch that's coming in. I just bought some, uh, Mayfex Spider-Man, Spider-Man, not (laughs) Spider-Man. Spider-Man's? Spider-Man's. You got a little play on words there, but, um, Mayfex has, uh, amazing figures, that are extremely jointed so you can pose them in all kinds of like action shots and um they have interchangeable like faces and interchangeable whatever's so what do you mean whatever whatever they're they can stop (laughs) doing that i hate it (laughs) you're on a roll no sure oh you're so ridiculous (laughs) Um, but yeah, they're really nice figures. So I'm getting some of those. I'm getting some, um, I think Spider-Man's and Venom's. Spider-Man's. Spider-Man's <laughs> and Venom's. And Venom's. Uh, a couple of Build-A-Figures, which are the, you get one piece in each Marvel Legend you buy and you put them all together. It's Hasbro's way of making you buy everything. You don't want it. So some Build-A-Figures in. Uh I and think that's a Marvel thing. No. It feels like a Marvel thing. 
No, because uh, McFarland does it too. Uh, it's a comic book thing, then. It's like the it's like making you do the the crossovers and the way they do all that stuff. So you have to buy everything. They did that with comics. They're doing it with the movies. Star Wars doesn't do that. There's no build of figs in Star Wars. Mm, now that she said it, there will be. Um, yeah, probably it's <laughs> You've just jinxed us all. Thanks a lot. Well, I better be able to build something awesome. And you'd buy it too. I you'd would. be like, I need all of them. So I, I mean, if it's awesome. I mean, I want to buy all of the Haslab stuff that comes out. Do you What's like my impression of you? I need all of them. Yeah, I don't really pay attention. <laughs> yeah, I'm the <laughs> South Park guy. You took her gerbs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do my impression of you. <laughs> I don't want to sleep outside tonight. Uh, behind the waterfall. Behind I'm the waterfall. You. Whatever. You're I'll just be in the pool. The I'll be floating around all night. Yeah. Right. Um, Is Middleton still here? I have a story about passing out on the, on the raft in the pool after drinking. Dude, you know what? I think that guy might have left. The pool is the best place <laughs> to pass out if you're not completely oblivious to water getting in your face and drowning you <laughs> it's it's so relaxing it's just someone you know, i know you feel the and waves. i were drinking one night at an apartment complex that we both lived in and then we went swimming or something i guess i don't really remember all the details something happened but sometimes. i woke up the next morning and on my way to work i walked past the pool and that person was still floating around in the pool at least they stayed on the raft though. they did and i'm surprised because uh, that's where he slept kudos to them good job Good times. Um, good times, Fuzz. Good, good times. times. I'm also getting some. Are you getting uh, some messages? No. Oh. I'm getting some old school spawn in. Not the old, old stuff, but like. It only goes back to like the 90s, right? No, no. Yeah. It, I think spawn came out. Um, the 90s. 90s. Funny story, but That's I'll tell you later. I have some funny stories. I have funny sponsors. Oh, so I had this new employee, right? And I'm like showing him how to run the store and, you know, do the things. And I'm like, oh, you can put cartoons on the sh on the TV or like pop culture movies, but don't put anything like horrible. I'm like, but oh, he put Spawn I'm like, on. oh, look, Spawn. Put HBO Spawn. No, I put Spawn on. Oh. <laughs> and I'm you like, didn't know oh. about Spawn? I didn't know it was that bad. I mean, but it's there an was HBO cartoon. I didn't know that. See, it was I thought really I'd watched good, it actually. Before. So yeah, like. 10 minutes into it there was like all kinds of profanity and effing and yeah S and, and i'm like and wait wait the place. no don't put spawn on that's bad and i changed it real You're quick like, but the snorks like, are fine nobody watches the snorks anymore i don't even know where you could find the snorks i found a snork in the back room it was like a keychain though oh i'm talking about like the show oh i mean i don't know is it, is it on the on the thing, is it on on the? Uh, I don't know on the Netflix. That's what I'm saying. I don't uh, know where it is. I don't know. All right. <sighs> All know. right. So, so, so today, um, we rearranged the office, oh, yeah. and we put our desks together because that's. Come along with the snorks. Swim along with the snorks. So much. To You're gonna get us banned from Facebook. I mean, probably for copyright. Go ahead. Stop it. So anyway, um, I don't know what I was saying. You were talking about rearranging. Oh yeah. Office, so but... I stirred up a bunch of dust today, and then I almost died. For dust. What? I thought you were gonna talk about the snorts. No, I have to sneeze. I was preparing it. Oh, oh, you were sleeping. gonna say we we kicked up a bunch of dust, and now you're gonna be now you've been sneezing all day. Earlier, she's like, I think we should do the show next week. I've been sneezing. She was sneezing like every five seconds. I was. I'm like, you're not impressing me. Like, I'll step it up to every 3.2 seconds. Yeah, Sorry. Do you think the snork sneeze? What happens if a snork sneezes? Oh, shoot. That just, just bubbles. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> just like, just like snot comes out of that thing. Uh, uh, do you think it's one of those avatar situations? Is that how they also do it? Uh, it's move on to the next <laughs> subject you know avatar is that coming out this this year too speaking of avatar um didn't we see a trailer for that Looked we bad. did see a trailer 
it looked like um, it was about 20 years too late. Yeah. I don't know how. I mean, they're revamping so many shows. Ghostbusters. They're making another one. They said they've greenlit the uh, Afterlife 2 or whatever it's going to be I can't think of anything else that was rebooted. I mean. There's a ton of stuff. But I just had a brain fart. Um, that. <laughs> See, you can't think of anything. There's a bunch of stuff. I mean, stuff. there's a ton of Star Wars there, shows coming out. I mean, Star there's Wars. Like, a... I feel like every 10 years, they're like, more Star Wars stuff. More Star Wars stuff. And, you know, people like Matt are like, give me, give me, give me more Star Take Wars. Take my money. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Take all my money. And, you know, sometimes I feel like, you know, we're watching these these new shows and it's just basically the old 1970s and 80s movies but with different characters do you feel that way yeah do you feel like they're sometimes well, they just pull on your heartstrings a little bit like you're look, gonna love this because it's nostalgia of course which is what they did not do with um the, the sequels really no no Which, no the with sequels like, like the, the force awakens and uh the last jedi and uh skywalker rises they whatever. didn't do that with those I don't think they did enough of that. No, it was. They just brought in a bunch of new characters, which is what so, they probably no, should have no. done. I no, guess, no. In a so way. That... But that's not what everybody wanted. Mm -hmm. What they did with Mandalorian is what everybody wanted. Boba Fett a little bit to a certain extent. They, I don't know, kind of. I don't really know what happened in Boba Fett. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. I think there I was mean, some like biking. Charlie, what's up? How you doing, <laughs> man? I haven't talked to you in a hundred years. Huh. I used to work with that guy at NBC Bay Area. Oh, what's up, Charlie? I don't know you, but no, hi. It's cool. Um, I'm Chris. Uh, Boba Fett was going to be um, tricky, and I think they did all right, all things considered. Uh, I think they should have made that's a tricky Boba one. Fett more of a badass. And because honestly, like everybody hypes up Boba Fett so much. Oh, he's so cool. Well, he's yeah, a bounty the hunter. He does his thing. He falls in a pit and dies, but then he doesn't. Spoilers. He's alive. Spoilers they made a whole show about him <laughs> after he died. <laughs> I mean, obviously there's a show about him, so either uh, he's like uh, either we're watching him decompose for a thousand years that, in this show, which is completely possible. Like I would they could have made know. a live Wait, screensaver of I him decomposing. You could have been good for a thousand years. I think I would have watched that and be way more interested to watch his body decomposing nah. the whole entire show than to watch some of the Here's where the problem is on this. The problem. I liked. Wait. All right. I'll let you go. Can I talk? No, you go. It's all you. Go. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I like the part where they did Mandalorian 2.0, 2.5. Okay. Continue. Oh, that's it? I that's all I it. wanted. I like I like Boba Fett, right. the Mandalorian Chronicles. Right, where like half of the half of the half of the Boba Fett show was Mandalorian. <laughs> I mean, it worked. I mean, it worked. Um, I mean, did it though? Boba like, Fett mm. was not a good guy, and Disney's like, we're gonna do a show about him. It can't be about like how he's murdering people. They but what it. was they it about? Make... What actually did Boba Fett do? I don't know what he did. Well, I mean, I a, mean, I know he mean, like before the show. He like he was a he was a bounty hunter. He's like, like he... come here, little red guard. Oh, you're so cute. No, no, he didn't do that. That's the only thing I remember on that. But I don't really know what that he did. Was Baby Yoda, that wasn't him. No, it's the rancor. Yeah. He got like oh, a, I mean, I he got he like a cat that. rancor. He did do that, yeah. But but as no, I mean, before that, like in Empire, he was a bad guy, like. I know, and but Jedi, in the show. he was a bad guy. Well, no, that's what I'm getting at. Is like, if they're gonna make a show about a bad guy, Disney's not gonna make him a bad guy. They had to find a way to make him into a like an antihero or kind I of. I think a good that's guy. the problem because people want bad guys. People, they did, and they wanted him. That was people. Like, they wanted him to be mysterious towards the evil because that's with why every evil there's a reason that they're evil. So I want to know why Boba Fett <laughs> is the way that he is. I want to yes. know why that he feels like. I mean, he's a Mandalorian, obviously, but I want to feel like why he is kept he? going in I don't that even path. Know if he is. Why he oh, kept so going? So you want to see a well? I mean, watch. You need to just you need to watch Clone Wars. 
of why Boba. F I know, but if you're gonna make a whole show about, I mean, it talks about him growing up and how Boba he got Fett. to be Boba Fett. No, I know how he got to be Boba Fett. I know that he's a bad guy, but I want to know why he continues in that path. Like, what do we see? What do we see? Money credits. No, what do we see in he's working for credits? Yeah, Char Charlie. Charlie <laughs> said Boba Fett was a bounty hunter who captured Han Solo for Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> no, yeah, we know. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Thanks. <laughs> Why does but, he feel like he needs to capture good guys? I don't feel like he's not know if the good guys are bad guys. He's, he's just, just working bounty hunting. For, there's a bounty out on a guy. He's going to get him. I mean, Mando's doing the same thing. Except he stopped he's doing it to doing, go off on his doing, go off like on adventures not, with a child. He's so. not doing it with good guys, though. He's only doing it with bad guys. What's up, Matt Carlisle? Hi, Matt Carlisle. This is a show called Choking Hazard. We're discussing Matt and Crystal weekly. Uh, Thursdays at 7 p.m. Yes. Pacific time. That's right. And right now we're debating, I don't know what, well, something about so, Boba Fett. Okay, so Crystal's talking about Boba Fett like it's something. The th <laughs> like it's something. <laughs> you can go to BobaFeet.com. I think I own that. Or BobbyFeet.com. BobbyFeet.com. Uh, where did it go? I don't remember. Hopefully it doesn't go to porn. You're disgusting. <laughs> oh, I didn't go. It goes anywhere. Oh, it goes to Rogue Toys. Thank God. Okay, check so, out bobbyfeet.com. Boba Fett, right? I want to know if I'm watching an entire series about Boba Fett. Yeah. I want to know why he's continuing on his journey of being this Mandalorian. Don't put me on the screen. You're what talking. am I going to tell you? This is you talking. Okay, Go, fine. you're on a rant. Why? You get the whole screen. <laughs> why is he this Mandalorian? Why does he want to do this? I want to see him do some like Boba Fett things. Like he did. He did no Boba Fett things. What did he do? He Boba Fetted. What does that even? He, he pet a Rancor. That's all. That's literally the that's only. Not. That's the only moment. No, that he stood like took over. Entire he show. took over Jabba's no, crime he didn't. syndicate. No, he didn't. The freaking biker gang did. Yeah, we only know the story of the good guys. It's all about perspective, Matt Carlos says. No, it's but that's, it is, that's good guy. the thing. Are we the good guys or bad guys? That's the thing. What if we're the like, bad if he's to those be bees boy, out in the backyard? We're the I bad want, guys. To your in watching, your perspective, we're the good guys. If I'm watching Boba Fett, yeah, they're murdering I want him. more like a Dexter kind of feel where I'm like, this guy is truly a horrible, a horrible person. I mean, it's Disney. Clone. They're not gonna do that. I don't know if he oh, he's clone. Is he real people? Is he like? Uh, does he have like? No, I think he was a he was features? a clone, or he was, I mean, he was the son of Jango Fett. Okay. But he was a clone. Well, whatever he's a clone. he is, that's why he looks like species all species that comes from planet. He's a human species. Where? Okay, pop but quiz. He's a clone. Pop quiz. Where's Boba Fett from? He's from that uh, that same one where Jango Fett's from. No, oh, oh, where's Jango the Fett from? Blue, I can't think of the, <laughs> well, the place. <laughs> it's the blue one. The water. That, that one planet. Ah, that thing. I can't think of the name of it. Okay. I know it, but we'll I can't come back it. to that. Well, I'll, I'll, let me play. Let me play Battlefront <laughs> Two real quick and re refresh my memory. So I want. Why aren't they making like... more Battlefront games? Is what I want to know. <laughs> we can spend the all next week talking about that. So I want to feel when I'm watching. How long is this show? When I'm watching, however long we want to make it. Okay. It's already been an hour. I know. When I'm watching a show about a guy who likes to capture good guys, capture bad guys, doesn't have a soul. Because he just does whatever for money. I want to know, like, I want to feel like I hate him, but Camino. that I love him at the same time. He's from Camino. He's from Camino. Did you Google that? I had to look it up because I couldn't remember, but I didn't know that. All right, Star Wars guy. Uh, whatever. <laughs> it's spelled with a K, but yeah. But I mean, that's how I was expecting the show to be. I mean, is that how he? he so he no, I mean, I didn't Java. expect it to be like Dexter. That would have been amazing. I mean, that would have been interesting, but that's definitely kidding? an interesting way for Disney to go. If, <laughs> if it was an HBO Showtime show, maybe. Yeah, all right. No, I mean, but maybe if... Maybe Disney should sell it all off to Showtime, and then it'd be a completely different thing. I mean, will we seen, you know... What? And it can turn into a burnt hot I dog? I mean, no, no. We've we seen that. We see... I mean, that's, that's probably the gorgeous We see part Darth Vader, home. like, force choking people. Like, that's horrible. But I... <laughs> not like that kind of choking. <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> um, but I want to see... Well, power surge. Yeah, no, I just, I just kicked the, uh, the cord. Watch your feet. You watch your mouth. <laughs> All right. I you want to talk see... about Kenobi? No, I want to. I'm still ranting about Boba Fett. 
I want to see you know, someone that I love to anyway. hate. You watched. Like, and all episode. I did with all I did with Boba Fett was like, I don't know what's going on in the show. I and and that's it's not great. I, I give <laughs> Boba Fett three points out of ten. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Tommy said. Boba Fett wasn't evil. He was a mercenary paid to take people down. If the Rebellion had paid him, he probably would have switched allegiances just as quick. Exactly. But we don't know that because there was no allegiance well, to nothing. Like, nothing well, happened. Well, because they weren't paying bounty hunters to go after anybody. The, the old Rebel Alliance had no money. But the dude is a bounty hunter. Make it about something bountiful. <laughs> about bounty? <laughs> the quilted quicker picker upper. It be about paper towels. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, the continue. dude spent like uh, a couple of years in uh, dying in the in the pit. So, so I would I have liked to true. elaborate on like that a, more. Like, I would have liked. I think it was a couple, how long was he in there? It's like a week. Forty ago. years. How did he live? Twenty nine years. I don't think that's true. That's definitely years. not true. Seven years. No, it's like it wasn't that long. And seven Mary nights. Carl I might know off the top of his head. Thirty days and thirty nights, like Jesus. Oh wait, that's forty. 40 days and 40 It did make nights. something about our hunting focus. It was called the Mandalorian. It's, that wasn't that bounty. It was at the beginning, and then it, it became was. the adventures of like... Grogu and Mando. <laughs> <laughs> Grogu just became the new short round. <laughs> that was it. Time to go on adventures with my little tiny alien. Yeah. Do, 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 Which do, reminds do. me, Joe Dante. Was it Joe Dante? Was that the director of Gremlins? Joe Dante. Yeah, Joe Dante. He said same? in an interview that that Grogu was a direct ripoff of Gizmo. He did, because it yeah. is. Love Gizmo. There should be more Gizmo movies. Um, I'm sure Matt Carlisle, like we have homework for you. Figure out how long Boba Fett was in the Sarlacc pit. Yeah, I can probably look it up. I can't remember. No, you're not looking it up. I'm Gremlins. Kidding. This is from Hollywood Wait. Reporter. Okay. Gremlins director Joe Dante is not mincing words when it comes to what he sees as similarities between franchises Cuddly Gizmo and the Baby Yoda character at the heart of the Disney Plus series The Mandalorian. He said, quote, I think the longevity of the films is really key to one character, Gizmo, who's essentially like a baby. Dante told the publication in a video chat, which brings me, of course, to the subject of Baby Yoda, who is completely stolen and is just out and out copied shamelessly, I would think, unquote. I mean, pretty close. I mean, they all look like naked cats. They all have hair. What are you talking about? I mean, when they lose their hair. What, when the gremlins turn into big gremlins? Yeah, they look like... When the mogwai turn into gremlins? Yeah. They don't look like cats. What are you talking about? They look like naked cats. They, they look, look like, like our big cats. They look like green. They look like lizard things. I would totally call my cat a gremlin. I'd say the gremlins and like the aliens from V are related closer mm. than the cats. Those, those cats are pink. Do you, did you watch? You weren't even alive when V was on the first time. I mean, right, I wasn't. Well, I mean, it was like 1984, so wasn't alive. <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. I got those all on VHS. I celebrate somewhere. my youth. You know what? You know what? You know what Saturday is? I don't know, but Leo season's been canceled this year, so Leo I don't season. know what you think you're doing. Okay, continue. So, what did you? What both was, your... was a maximum of a few days, five years. What? Tommy says a couple of days. Matt Carlisle says five years. I looked it up. Okay. Well, Tommy said a couple of days in the Starlight, which was confirmed. Matt Carlisle says five years. I looked it up. Well, if you're going for five years, though? how did he Like, eat? how do you, it, how is, do you does it say die? it in the books? Does it say it in the comics? Does it say it in like the know. Clone Wars of time? The, well, it's got to match space. up with the time of Mando, I think. So that was like five years later after Jedi. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, I have questions. There's holes in the stories. There's no holes. There's there are perfect. holes in the, these okay, stories. Go. Okay. I'm just going to do this. You have Obi-Wan, right? You want to talk about Obi-Wan? Let's talk about Obi-Wan. Go ahead and lead off it's with Obi-Wan. story. Five years in the expanded universe books. Matt Carla, oh, you, you don't know what Leo season is? No, it's not a thing. Don't worry about I'm it. I'm going to tell you what Leo season is. It starts on Saturday. Ay. Tommy knows what Leo season is. Yeah, everybody knows. We've been talking about it. Matt Carlisle knows. He's just 
knows that it's also been canceled this year. It's so not canceled. He knows that it's Pisces not can't cancel the season. You know, the thing about Pisces you don't know is that they secretly control everything. They complain a lot. They control everything. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought Obi Wan was pretty good too. Okay, what did you like about Obi Wan? Um, just that it's more Star Wars stuff. <laughs> Again, I don't the know. And I thought the expanded universe books were canceled, like Leo season. The canon was canceled. I don't know. Hmm. Um. Uh, yeah, that's true. Pisces cry a lot. They do. Oh. Don't cry about it. It's okay. I'm gonna cry about it. <laughs> pour yourself another Coke and Coke over there. Today's show brought to you by Tommy's mom, who's making this room smell it delicious. It does smell delicious in here. It smells like mint ice cream, chocolate <laughs> mint ice cream. It smells like junior mints. Um, yeah, I thought Kenobi was good. I thought it fit well into the whole storyline. I thought that, um, you know, it, it helped make the prequels okay, which is what Disney has been doing for the past 20 something years. So you think the last 20 years they're just trying to redeem themselves? Well, Disney didn't make the prequels, but they did pay for them. So I think what they've done with them over the past 20 years somehow made them okay, which I don't think ever would have happened if Lucas hadn't sold. Sometimes things are run horribly for a very long time. And then once that horrible entity is gone, then things can flourish, but it takes some time <laughs> for these things like to grow. to realize what was happening. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes, or sometimes they're just sold off to some place that makes things better. Okay. Uh, you know, look, I don't think Lucas had any plans to do all the stuff that Disney did. I don't think he would have ever done all those things. And we would have been left with the last thing he did, which was, you know, the prequels, which would have sucked because then we would have just been, that would have been it. Yeah, he went to learn George Lucas. Sorry. Yeah, I think Jar Jar's a good Hi. guy, and uh, I think he's great. And, uh, Jar Jar's <laughs> wonderful, and everything just uh, stopped you just stopped there. Did you just say Jar Jar's great? This is my George Lucas impression. <laughs> so. Is that? I don't think I've ever heard George Lucas speak. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Does he really sound like that? Yeah, he it does. Sounds pretty horrible. No, I mean that's what he sounds like. Well. You talk while I look it up. Obi Wan was cool. I think. I liked it better than Boba Fett. Um, there was a lot of lightsabering, which was cool. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Star Wars needs to have some kind of lightsabering at some point for it to be. No, I mean the the stuff show. with uh, the stuff with the the fights with Darth Vader that that last that last episode was amazing. I mean that was great. I don't like how Darth Vader. Was uh, it tied in with like Anakin? We never got, got to see. I don't like how he got lazy on his fighting though. He's like, "I'm gonna fight you." Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Go ahead. I'll get you next time. What do you mean? I'll get you next time, Obi Wan. Go ahead. Get away. <laughs> I'll do this. Again. No, I mean we'll Obi Wan again. just like summoned up his. his but yeah, I mean, obviously, you can't have either character die because they need to be in the next set of movies. Obviously, yeah, but I thought it was I thought it was I thought it was really nice movie, to see like we cuz like when we left when we left Anakin turn into Vader we didn't see him do anything. Like he was just like no. Uh, excuse me. We saw uh, a little bit Anakin didn't turn into Vader. Vader killed Anakin. Okay. Don't you know? Like you watched it. Duh. We didn't see like we didn't get to see him do anything. Like he was just like, I'm gonna walk out here and look at the Death Star being built. And we saw a little bit in Rogue One, which is what we wanted to see, and then we finally got to see a little more here. Yeah, he didn't get lazy, he got beat. No, he okay, so let's let's take take it back to like how he was able to drag Anakin through or not uh, Anakin, Obi Wan. How he was able to drag Obi Wan through the fire to like burn him to death and then all of a sudden I mean, oh i can't drag you anymore right. my powers are gone i don't know what happened and big like you can't have him doing everything yellow dude comes in Rick, I'll save you. and like come on like you can Films. you can clearly see Got a new trilogy that deals with the microbial world of the force uh, stories about a finished 
Jedi Master who gets shrunken down to Darth miniature Vader size one. and he's injected into the butt cheeks of a Sith. Killed by all of the and they have to Jedi kind of work after. together to help the Jedi navigate to the Sith Lord's uh, pee hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> I don't think that I don't know. All right, that was an impression of George Lucas, okay. but that's pretty much what he sounds like. You want you want you want, find, you want an actual George Lucas? You want an actual George Lucas? Um, here's another one. Here you go. Jar Jar. I like Jar Jar. You both like Jar Jar, so I've proven that people still love Jar Jar Binks. That was a pretty good impression. Yes, creepy eye. <laughs> Me so happy. <laughs> That's Josh Robert Thompson, mm -hmm. who does a pretty good. Uh, he was the guy who was on uh, the Late Show with Craig Kilborn. He did the voice of Jeff Peterson. I see. But he does a pretty good George Lucas. He does. He's pretty good. Um, yeah, you want to talk about like Hi, Natalie. getting lazy and falling asleep? Like, let, there's no Natalie in here. What are you talking about? I see Natalie. Natalie just popped in. Oh, where? I got nothing. Um, well, I did. No comments. And I said hi. Okay, there's no comments from Natalie. Say hi, Natalie. Okay. Say hi. Um. I don't remember what I was talking about. George Lucas. George Lucas is a fine fellow. I don't know what I was talking about. Mm. Oh, I mean, you know, all those Skywalkers, they just kind of get tired and die. Which leads me to my next rant about Padme. How did she die? I mean, she had she got tired and died. She had labor complications eh, and she lost too and much died. blood, she, which is a no, common medical problem. Not in the future, nor a long time ago with no. robots. Let, 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 oh, no. Stop! Stop right there. There was no what indication. The first, actually, no. Stop. What is the first words <laughs> that you see when watching Star Wars? The first episode. It was a long time ago. The galaxy far far away. So, okay, no, but they had robots. The what do you mean? That, with, with scoopy things to pull babies out of you. Clearly, there was no robots there. There was. They showed them. Oh. Scooping them out with the koopy hands. It was weird. Well, how are they? What are they? Cotter eye? Cotter. I mean, yeah, I can't say this word. Nothing indicated that she was bloody or had other complications. She just got tired and died. And she, she died from quarter eyes. Cotter See, this is where. Luke and Leia. I think you know, I mean I mean Yoda wasn't related, but he also got tired and died. Because <laughs> he got tired. <laughs> of, <laughs> he got tired of his pupils asking him too many questions. <laughs> and I feel him. <laughs> I don't know. So, I mean, there are theories that like Palpatine like killed her from the force from afar. Mm, and that's how did she he died. though? I mean, that's what people say. I don't know. I mean, people also say Jar Jar was a Sith, so you know. Yeah. What is it? I don't know if I buy that. I don't know what that noise was either. Good lord, you crazy <laughs> human. I don't know where those napkins went. I think I that um, you know, during Oh, there's a rag. During Luke and Leia being born, um, like the, I think that she they were just so died full of complications. Of the, so full of the force that they because if forced it, their way out. You know, if it's yes, did you ever see um, Return to Which Mountain? No. What? No. <laughs> what? They feel each other and they have this force, and when they get too close, like it's nah, maybe they have the same thing. Um. Yeah, I don't know about that. But like, you know, some stuff fell on the floor. Okay. Leia, like, Leia got tired and died. They didn't, she didn't really like... I mean, you want to talk about that? They could have killed her off in a much better way. In that so, whole thing. I have a question. If they, Instead of Mary Poppins her, Poppins and her back to the ship, just blown out and... Whoa, goodbye. no. The end. <laughs> goodbye. She's done. Which is what I thought it was going to be. And I'm like, well, I guess that's one way to do it. No, she got tired and died. No, they had to make her get sleepy because I don't know what, I don't even know what happened. I don't even know how that happened. She was trying to do something. I don't know what she was doing and just died. I, like, don't, I don't know. Like how her she son died. died and then she was like, I don't know. Died. And Luke's like, wait, oh, Luke I'm going to force. First? What? Luke, oh, wait. Well, yeah, Luke died who, first. Oh, um, 
What? Kylo Ren. Oh, ben, yeah. Ben, That's her son. Ben. Ben. Ben Swallow. Ben Swallow, named after <laughs> Ben Kenobi, whose real name wasn't Ben. Mm, fake Ben. How do you get Full Ben man. from Obi Wan? It's like Robert and Bob. I mean, he just picked a name, whatever. It it's like been named Richard like and Dick. I don't think that's what it was at all. I feel like it is. He just picked a name. I feel like in He's a galaxy like, uh, far, far away, Obi Wan's nickname was Ben. B Wan? No, it was Ben. Beyond? Beyond? Ben? Beyond. I don't know. Luke died because he got tired of Force ghosting himself onto another planet. I. I thought, you know, Luke died because he got poisoned. He got he didn't force booed off. himself. Luke died because he got booed off the screen after he milked the freaking <laughs> alien of species of he had blue milk mustache. Uh, I thought maybe a better way to go with that was going to be instead of this weird projection thing that never existed before, he maybe like could have offed himself and became a force ghost sacrificed himself so that he could show up over where he needed to and been there i think had they just like not, that would seem like it might have been a i better, feel like had they not go. made luke a giant you know what no what a, I a know what coward he wasn't a coward he was kind of i think he should have sacrificed himself like maybe like like Lightsabered he, himself. No, I mean he became went a force to, ghost and then gone over to the other where he needed to be instead of this weird projection. There's thing. a whole, you know, war going on, the Jedi's, all these I mean, things. The war was kind of over. You know, he he got all his go. people. He got all his people dead, and all his kids, all his and, and Ben Swallow took over, and he went and he, he hid. He went and hid on a planet in shame and in cowardice. Cowardice, not cowardice. Um, <laughs> and, you know, and, and Ray comes like, hey, can you help me? And he's I just mean, like. He tried to like have a Jedi nah, Academy and he failed and whatever. Like, I can kind so of you, don't, you don't coward yourself. You, you, you know, you don't, when you're, you're a Jedi, you fail and you try again. At first, don't succeed, man. It's Jedi. Law. I mean, that's kind of what Yoda told him when he showed up. I feel like the Jedi are just a bunch of people that don't I want mean, to obey the, the law. The heroes are the, you know. I feel like the they're just like. You know, it's still 107 out. That's crazy. Let's go swimming. Hmm. <laughs> Luke shouldn't have gone out like that. I wanted to yeah. actually see him in a lightsaber battle and get sawed yeah. in half like Darth Maul. That would have been a beautiful ending. I would have been like, oh, that fool got Darth Mauled from like his father did to yeah, that. Yeah, Yoda had guy. to hide too because they were looking for him. And Obi-Wan did too. They all went into hiding. Is Darth Maul still alive? Yeah. How do you think he dies? Let's do predictions. Well, I mean, I don't know. He didn't die when in the prequels though because he showed back up in the Clone Wars. And he showed up at the end of Rogue One. Or not Rogue One, Solo. He did show up in Solo, but how do you think he actually dies? Well, I don't know. Who do you think kills him? Let's put bets on this. I don't know. Is he still around? I don't know if he survived through all of that who, stuff. I don't actually who know. Who kills Darth Maul? Somebody might know. Does he die? Somebody get him? I don't know. I didn't watch Clone Wars or read the books. Um, he made it through Clone Wars, I think. Did he? I don't know. Somebody, somebody knows out there. Well, if he's in the end of Solo... That kind of carries over to right about. Uh, Where's the timeline of Solo? I think it's after episode three. I'm not sure. I think it ties in with like Rebels. I'm not sure. I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm going to say, I'm going to say. Yeah. Shock T kills Darth Maul. No, That's my guess. I don't think Shock T survived the Order 66. Oh, she got killed in Order in 66? In Rebels, he finds Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan actually kills him. Oh, there you go. Oh, spoiler alert. Thanks, Chuck. Thanks, Chuck. All right. 
There you go. Well, that's Sean. Obi Wan. Obi Wan basically starts all this shit. So then there's going to be a episode, or there's going to be a second season of Obi Wan where he. Sean Wilson says Obi Wan. Yeah, Obi Wan. Where he okay. extra kills because he's not dead by being chopped in half because his wounds are corduroy. Corduroy? Corduroy? I don't know. Like, Remember when you used to get dead from a lightsaber wound? No, you don't. Not anymore. Ow. Oh, did you just kick a bunch of stuff over? No. Just, just uh, one more time. Let's revisit the things that. Do you want to buy? Because okay. now we have six people here. That's a lot. We had ten at one point. Did we? Was, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, prototype Smurf Trooper, the size of your usual Smurfs. Is this something you would buy? He's got a cute little Smurf tail too. He does wear a Smurf tail. I wonder if he tastes delicious. Nom nom. Gargamel. <laughs> Smurf. Darn. Dirt, dirt, dirt. What's good. how do you what is the what is the march song? How does that go? Smurf, 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 smurf. What? Nerf. La 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 la. All right. Another thing. Would you buy a three pack of Kenner style Force Ghost Yoda redone with a little bit of a robe? Same kind of Yoda face. It's a little hard to tell because it's a ghost, but it's all there. When you put them on a cool blue light, they light up awesome too. They do actually. Those got really shiny. I know. Those are amazing. That's because you did a really I great job on those. Hit them with some clear coat. Very good job. Uh, Anakin, same style as the Anakin you could send away for, but yes, Matthew, he did uh, make the Smurf. But, the uh, Smurf is adorable. Yeah. Here he but, is. Uh, ghosty style. Would you buy a three pack of these? These are the things I'm working on, and. Obi Wan with Obi Wan Kenner head and uh, give him some robes as he should have instead of his uh, skinny self with uh, vinyl cape. So I'm thinking about a three pack of those guys. Matthew says yes, he would. Awesome. Did I make the smut? Coming to Rogue Toys this summer. Yeah, there'll probably be a season two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, these this three pack will be pretty soon. I'll make. It'll be a limited number because they're custom. So, you know. Exclusives. Probably. Only to Rogue Toys. Only to Rogue Toys. This summer. Coming <laughs> in a world. Uh, in I the need, store. I need, I need my, Can't get that low. You're going to have to do it for me. I need my spit thing so I don't spit all over anything. In a world. That's all I can say. It sounds In the same. a world. In a, because I was like, in a world, that sounds in good. a world, <laughs> in a world. Okay, that's good. In a world. You get it. Thank you. You can say in a world. In a world. Okay, so we will make the Smurfs. Well, not we. I'll stand by and annoy Matt while he makes In a world. Smurfs. And the, the three, <laughs> and the three pack of Force Ghost Yoda. Obi Wan and Anakin. Do we call him Anakin or Darth Vader? No, he's Anakin. But it's old Anakin. It's not Hayden Christian Anakin. It's basically the Anakin. It's the same kind of uh, Anakin that you so got when you mailed away in the 1980s. But he's a ghosty now. And he's not doing Jesus hands. No. Or is that Obi Wan? I'm not. You want me to crucify him? <laughs> no. I don't know what Jesus. you're saying. Well, oh, wait, buddy wait, Jesus hands. Which were the buddy Jesus hands ones? Uh, those were like the later '90s, like '90s version of Obi Wan, Force Ghost. Force Ghost '90s Obi Wan. That was a male buddy entry. Jesus. Yeah, he was doing like some weird like finger thing. Was he dead for three days? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, okay. I don't know, at least, Checks out. At least. So, those are awesome. Um, you're gonna try to make some sometime this month, and hopefully next month. Oh, we're already we'll see where we're sometime at. during Leo season. They'll be in the stores. Leo season got canceled. Leo season's available. Also still. available exclusives. <laughs> Rubber Pull crystal hands. Finger. You're going to break something. I'm not, that's pretty, that's You're going to break yourself. Pull on that. No, I don't want to. <laughs> pull, pull on your finger. What yeah. I'm saying is you're going to break yourself, not the hand. Okay. Uh, what would you pay? For a crystal hand. Nobody wants a crystal hand. Nobody wants a, a rubber crystal, crystal hand. hand. No. 
You're retarded. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. All right, fine. Um, that is all I have for this episode of yep. our first podcast. Is this called a podcast? Yeah, yeah. Is this, what is this web show? It's a show. Our show. Choking hazard. Uh, choking hazard, and we will be on every Thursday at seven o'clock Pacific time. For those who know your time zones, I'm like some, some people, people don't. <laughs> <laughs> some people in California don't know that uh, Las Vegas is. In the same time zone. Oh shoot, Matt Carlisle's a Leo. Hey, Leo's in the house. Oh no. Woo. We're gonna go <laughs> have a Leo, Leo season celebration. I'm telling you, all the cool peoples are Leo. Well, let's uh, plan it then. Okay. You want to do something Saturday, Matt Carlisle? What are you doing Saturday? <laughs> Leo season celebrations. Oh, I'm going into amazing. hiding for a month. I'm going to buy one of those fallout shelters. And... You like Leos? I can tell. Pisces, Pisces guy. Uh, yeah, All right. Kind of so anyway, <laughs> so thank you guys for stopping in and watching the show today. Uh, every Thursday at seven o'clock, we will be back like clockwork to uh, talk about cool nerd stuff and toys and um, anything really. Hopefully we have some cool exclusives from Comic-Con. And uh, yeah, if you went to Comic-Con, it'll be over by next week. So. Uh, let us know what you got. I definitely want some cool Comic Con stuff. Uh, Matt Carlyle have... has the same day birthday as you. That's oh true? shoot, that's right. I forgot about that, Matt. What? That's right. Wow. Uh, that's... Oh. All right. Well, I guess we have to have a party, huh? I think you're the only person I've ever met with the same birthday. That's pretty amazing. Josh Robert Thompson, who was doing that George Lucas impression, mm -hmm. has the same birthday as me. That's not as cool. He's not a Leo. It's pretty cool. Lawrence Welk has the same birthday as me. Also, two Time Lords have the same birthday as me. Al Roker has the same birthday as me. Take that. I'll take it. <laughs> That's all I got. That's enough. All right. We'll see you guys next time. All right. Choking hazard. See you next week, guys. Bye.